Hi everyone. This is a really smart picture to paint. It, I love the action, the energy, the light. Um, motocross, um, as most of you know where my studio is, there's a motocross um, uh, course and yeah I just love watching it. But this was actually at Weymouth on the beach. Now I'm going to try and keep that light by using some of the white of the paper and I'm going to mix very simple colours to start with. I'm going to go for a burnt umber and a French ultramarine and just keep it very very simple. I should have made some space on my palette and mix it up before we started but I'm just keen to get on with it. And so the French ultramarine blue little bit of burnt umber into that and I want it very very light this side so we've got sort of coming across from there and just trying to keep it as simple as I can so I just love that light and anything that I can do to keep that. Some lines from the sand. I can put the spray in a bit later. And I'm adding a bit more burnt umber just into places. Trying to keep it very, very simple. And then the other side is more burnt umber and it's sort of thicker because right, that's the sand area and keep that as simple as we possibly can. We can pick up on some of the bumps of the paper if we want to, but not too many. blue sort of showing through which is quite nice and then it's a bit smoother down here it's dark so that won't matter anything that's dark we'll be painting over anyway Maybe a little bit more blue into that as we come through to the water. Smooth that out there. All right, I've got my toothbrush. I'm going to do a little bit of splattering there whilst that's wet and it will blend a little bit. So I'm just going to go for the burnt umber to start with. We will do more splattering later, but these ones will run when I do them. That gives it a bit of texture and some blue as well, some French ultramarine. Uh, it's like being a big kid again. Into the neat paint of my palette. And we'll just leave that to dry naturally now. And my aim is to create the movement and the colour in this so I need to paint fairly quickly so I've drawn in quite a lot of detail which should help me to paint quickly um, if you look at that helmet and you put something white up against that there's only the tiniest little hint of colour on it where it's in shadow so I think we'll go for a mauve an intense violet just a hint sort of like um, a watermark would be good Take that over. And the same with that number plate. 
and a little bit of shadow there otherwise it's too much in your face there's a little bit of neck showing so just a little bit of light red and a little bit of skin on the arm so just a little bit there but any bits that run I'm happy with because what it will mean is that it gives me that action so if the colours blend a little bit no I'm okay with that now we're going to use some of the colours right, so there's all sorts of colours um, I'm going to go with a cadmium red and we're just going to feed all those colours in to start with so there's a stripe there they don't have to be exact but I quite like the colour now that's darker so we will put a shadow over that a little bit later there's things here and then that sort of comes around and then I'm going to go for some French ultramarine blue that's always good don't have to make out the writing there's just lots of things going on um, a little bit of green so the Prussian blue and the lemon yellows we can add a bit more even though that's not there and there's something around the neck right now the rest of it is fairly dark and my good dark to get a dark dark is to use that Prussian blue very thick and the sepia still working very quickly because I'd like these colours to run a little bit and if I'm not quick enough they won't let's just get that in there that's part of the bite that's the hand can always go back in with some white gouache if we need to I'm not sure that I'm going to be quick enough so that's wet I'll get that stripe in there no, it doesn't have to be exact but it's giving that feeling all that colour on the clothes. That arm's quite dark there. And yeah, I can feel the movement. Take off some of that pigment because the light's hitting his shoulder a little bit. So just more water. Let's pull that out slightly. On that shoulder. There wasn't a lot of sunlight, but anything that we can grab, all the best. All right. Now, it's dark underneath here. So we might as well use that colour that we've got. I think there's a strap or something. I can't quite make it out, but just pop in what you see. And goes like that. Tucks in there. Okay. the fingers uh, so leave a little bit of white so it looks like the hands bent over right I'll grab my little brush I keep that dark on there and see we're working through it quickly we're not fiddling that's what it's all about you can see I need to tidy that shoulder a little bit just pull that down quickly and then what colour so I'm coming red again there's a few sort of stripes here and there not too many. Some grey, a good grey is cobalt blue and light red. So just mix up some of that very thick. And just pop that. I'm just looking where it comes. 
there's a bit there, a bit that comes around here. Um, around his knee. And then the rest is quite dark, so we've got that dark. Let's, let's hope that runs this time. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's not exactly in the right place. The key is to keep working quite quickly and so that it's all very loose. Don't want too many white bits. And it's got dark underneath there. That's part of the leg that side. And whilst we've got that grey, let's just pop that little bit in here. It's really taking shape. Let's use some sepia and some burnt umber for those lovely boots. Oh, they're quite covered in mud, aren't they? I just look for light and dark shapes all the time. And just water down, burn some the where the light's hitting the shoe, just around here. And just on there. All that out. I get those lovely light marks. A bit of light on there too. And then back into the Prussian blue and the sepia for the base. Nice and gungy and dark. And it's all dark around there. And dark there. really starting to take shape. You just feel that movement as he's going around the bend. Now I'm going to pick out some of the lighter colours on the bike because they can get a little bit confusing and you sort of don't quite know where you're going. So if I make the lighter shapes, pop those in, anything that you can see. I'm not worried about lots of detail, it's just the shapes. And that way it will start to make a lot more sense when we... It can be lighter there, sort of light there. Don't have to do every single rung. There's a little bit of light here. Right, now for the very dark bits. So back into the Prussian blue. Gungy sepia, just love it. And down, if it runs a little bit, that's all to the good. And sort of goes like that. Pop the orange in a minute and leave a little bit of a gap there to make sense of that. runs we're happy Something comes there right just take off some of the paint and we're going to try and do some dry brush marks so take that round to there and then up and the same on this one And I'm going to take the shadow through that so then if we haven't got it exactly right it doesn't matter. Now a nice clean brush so that when I paint the cadmium orange in it's going to be very vibrant and that comes around there. Whoa. Let's 
something across there, there's some little markings. And the light's just hitting it along there. Something orange here. So, I don't know what a bike, no, I have no idea about bike bits, but that does look like a bike. Now, underneath that's quite dark. Um, I'm just wondering what the best colour is to add to that. I think we add a little bit of the Prussian blue into that and a little bit of sepia into the orange. So we've got a dark. That comes down there. And maybe some of those rungs need to be the dark colour. And I think I'm going to use a little bit of my card to get them quite straight. Now I'm going to bring that up there. And then just on a tiny bit of the card, not all of it. And they sort of crisscross over everywhere. Don't have to do every single one. Just adds to the movement. That's something that goes like that. Same on the back one. Can't see quite so many on the back. And so that sits in there underneath. It's dark there. And let's just tidy that. You're never going to get a, a proper circle, that's going to be quite hard. I think I need to take that in a little bit there though so that that doesn't show. Okay, we're doing okay. Now do we want a number? Let's just obliterate the number. Better not to see what it is. And I think a bit of cobalt blue to start with along that handlebar. Because I think we're in danger of losing it. And then I can just drip some colour into that, maybe some grey. We can, if we want, bring back some highlights with white. Let's just put in a little bit of the dark on the boots. There's a little bit of a shape there. I don't want to do too much detail. That could be the danger. And there's those things that come across there. Uh, very dark down that side. You know, I am getting to be very happy with this. Now we need a shadow to just anchor that down, but there's also a lot of sand that's been kicked up and I want to try and emulate that. So let's use a little bit of the sepia to start with and bring that along like that through that wheel and then into the burnt umber. It's a very messy race, this one. Right. Now, I'm going to put some spray in a minute there for the sand, but I think some of these posts that are coming around here might be a good idea to put in to make more sense of it. I want to keep them quite blue, so let's just go for the cobalt blue. And uh, no, that's not, let's, let's go for French ultramarine burnt umber, sort of grey. And then just not so close to his face as it actually was. Just a few. And I quite like that. That sort of gives it a bit of shape. And I've decided not to put those motorbikes in because I think that would just complicate it a little bit too much. But this is good. And let's get the toothbrush. And some burnt umber and let's just spray 
Oh, that's brilliant. And wash that off and then into that I'm going to put some French ultramarine blue. That has the feeling. So I think the next thing to do is to take all the pencil marks out and then we might need to add a few highlights to make sense of that. Well, I don't think we're far off. There's a few things I'd like to tidy up. I don't want to do it too much because I'll get tight and fiddly and I love the looseness. But the hat is sort of the same tone as the background. So what I'm going to do is put just a little bit of a wash of the cadmium orange just over the top there. Oh, that's that's enough. Um, I don't need to do the whole of it, but that will make it stand out. Now, also, the handlebars are a little bit messy. And so what I'm going to do <coughs> with that is to get my card and I'm going to get some white gouache, quite thick. Get it onto your brush and then I'm going to load that edge. Lots and lots of pigment on there. And then I'm going to pull that So anything now that looks a little bit where well, I've lost the highlights, there's a break or a clutch handle here. Put that back in. That's okay in that colour. Um, we've got the whites there. I think that could do with being a little bit lighter, whatever that is. And the same here. All I'm trying to do is just make a little bit more sense of everything. Now we've got a lovely white line down there, so that's fine. Um, just checking. This could still stand out a little bit more. Let's pop a bit of a hint of white on the top of the glove and then we'll go back in with something dark in a minute. Let's get rid of that paint. You've got to be careful because the white will take over absolutely everything else. Now there's a little bit of sort of dark on that glass of the visor so we just fill that in a little bit there. A little bit of something dark, the Prussian blue maybe just pull that over. Yeah that makes sense of that a lot better. Um, I think there's a bit more of a definite line here. Yeah. I like the looseness, I think that needs to be definite. And a bit of a shape there and I'm just wondering if I might even need to go in with white. I think a white line there, there's a pattern on there, that won't hurt. Let's do that, let's go for that. It just makes sense of what's going on there, I think, to do that. White writing. Yeah, that, <clears throat> just those few things have made so much difference. Uh, I think I'm happy with that splatter. It's sand, not water, that's splattering up. Oh, I'm just sort of double checking everything. A um, little bit of dark for the glove there. So back into my Prussian blue and sepia mix. Nice and thick and gungy. Just that a definite shape. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. That has really got some action. And I just love the way he's he's turning on that bike. And yeah, I enjoy doing this. That's all I can say. Thank you for watching.